We are a design build firm that integrates funding resources and economic analysis for the construction of energy redevelopment projects. In today's shifting landscape of energy, there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of tech is at the right price. So when a customer or a client asks us, can we be sustainable? Can we go net zero? We're so excited because we have lots of opportunity, lots of products that can be applied to their facility. Consequently, now is the right time for a nonprofit or any company to strategize on this type of investment. It'll last 20 years, make a strong impact to their bottom line, and make a huge sustainability impact when America needs it the most. Whether it's a for-profit or non-profit, large organizations are getting that pressure to be socially responsible. The energy consumption is a major factor of that social responsibility. In this day and age, they're able to make an investment and not waste their money. We can truly show them a strong return on their investment through a variety of options. The Oxford Vista campus is located in Aurora, Colorado. The main tenant for this campus is AmeriCorps NCCC, a nonprofit devoted to making a strong impact in the communities they serve. The campus is owned by ULC, Urban Land Conservancy. The building was very outdated, and ULC really wanted to make an impact on their local community and their sustainability mission by upgrading this facility. ULC's mission and vision is really a place-based real estate strategy. So we go out and buy land buildings in Metro Denver really to ensure the long-term community benefit of those investments. So it's really about the land and it's about really being a good steward. So when we buy land and buildings, um, we're wanting to ensure that whatever happens on the site is gonna have a long-term community benefit. It's one thing to buy buildings and buy land. It's another thing to acknowledge that since we're gonna be here for the long term and owning land or we're owning buildings for the long term, we need to make sure that the buildings are gonna be sustainable, that they're really gonna be operating at a very efficient level. So we need to also figure out how we make sure that the energy costs are fixed, that there is a long-term affordability on energy use. So how does it all work? First, to heat or cool the Oxford Vista campus, the underground geothermal heat exchanger system will use water that circulates through the ground back to the mechanical room into a refrigerant, which is then condensed and distributed throughout the building to be used as on-demand heating and cooling. This is done through a variable refrigerant volume or VRV system. The system offers the ultimate in zoning control and provides energy recovery between temperature differentials throughout the building. Above the underground geothermal loop, a 434kW ground mount solar array and solar carport combo are passively collecting energy from the sun to generate clean, renewable, on-site power. The use of the renewable energy is then controlled by an advanced building automation system designed to intelligently determine when to use the energy. The control system also monitors the newly installed HVAC units and high efficiency boilers, ensuring that the campus maintains adequate heating and cooling while minimizing energy demand spikes. To top it off, where possible, portions of the roof were replaced with cool white roof sections. New double pane windows were installed to reduce heat transfer and indoor LED lights and site lighting were installed in the facility to add efficiency. All additions working together to reduce the stress of the HVAC systems and lower their utility cost even further. The combination of these elements take the Oxford Vista campus to net zero electric with minimal gas usage, where the energy they produce is at least as much as the energy they use, minimizing their impact on the environment and significantly lowering their operating costs. ULC's investment into their property at Oxford Vista is going to make a dramatic reduction in the demand spike it requires. It's the largest facility in that neighborhood, and what it means is within a one to two mile radius, there will be fewer infrastructure projects in the near term. Fewer construction, fewer roads, roads torn up, uh, and also a reduced cost on future improvements that would otherwise need to, be, need to happen. The need for this project at Oxford Vista was sheerly based out of operational necessity. Um, we knew that when we took on the property that we were inheriting a facility that had uh, existing infrastructure from the 60s when it was built. There was, 
not a whole lot of upgrades that were made along the way. Operating the, the facility for about a year and a half now, we've had about 50% capability on the mechanical side of conditioning our spaces. And even then, any equipment that is operational is working at the efficiency that was afforded by the technology of the time, so back in the 60s and that's if it's operational at all. Really what we were trying to do with this project was design a system that can carry the building, provide us with uh, good operation, stability, and control at the same time while we can uh, embrace newer technologies, high efficient technologies, and uh, really make our sustainable presence known. So the unique aspect of this project is incorporating the geothermal loop system on top of the solar array. Uh, you don't see that very often, and tying it into the uh, water-cooled VRV system is going to play another dramatic impact on the electrical costs for the facility. This is one of the first major undertakings for ULC. Energy Link is obviously excited to be a part of that, be able to make, make that first impact and kind of a first project, if you will, in the step in the right direction of their sustainable mission to incorporate uh, green aspects and uh, utility savings measures to create that bottom line benefit that they're looking to see for not only their tenants, but for themselves and the community. The great part is kind of our heat source and sink, the, the heart that drives that whole system is our geothermal loop. So approximately 75 to 80 wells, uh, 330 feet deep uh, into the earth has, has a very large shelf life. So the heart and the brains of the system um, really do have long lasting longevity. And it's our hope that as we you know, progress forwards, just like technology changes with smartphones and computers, building technology changes as well. And as we approach these upgrades systematically, we're always looking to, uh, to kind of showcase the next level of uh, building systems and gear. Increasingly, we find that it's tough for large organizations to make an investment that they feel really good about, makes a strong impact to the community and also their bottom line. When taking on a major mechanical or energy redevelopment project, it can be tough to know where to start, especially when you're wanting to make a sustainability impact. It's very important that you go to a design build firm that is fully integrated with the funding partners and that from day one, the design of the systems are meeting the economic return that you require and your funding partners require. Projects showing a strong economic return usually drive down spike demand, which is critical to pay back for any mechanical investment you make. Spike demand is grid relief. Grid relief means fewer dollars dumped into supplying power to your community and to the state as a whole and will keep utility rates lower for the longer term. Our ability to increase value assets while dramatically driving down demand is really one of the best and biggest impacts you can make to the local community of Denver. Now, on a daily basis, I work with great organizations that are growing, looking to make a large impact for the community, whether it be sustainability or income-based. I know that the projects we install increase asset value and cash flows to the groups we work with, not to mention an impressive impact to the sustainability of their local community and America at large.